Hi, this is Dave, Fell Running Guide. Welcome to another navigation task. And this is a route choice task where you've got to think about the best way of getting from this stream junction here at A over to this trig point here at B. So you need to think about um, the, the best conditions terrain wise underfoot and also navigationally, which is going to be the easiest way. So think about some features that you will um, see along the way that are going to help you know exactly where you are. Um, you want to be thinking about features that are going to tell you you've gone too far and maybe an attack point to get to to strike off to the trig point. So let's have a look at some of our options. And I'm using Anket mapping software for this. You notice I've taken the B away just so you can see a little bit more clearly the details around the trig point there. So in terms of ease of running, then avoiding all this moorland, upper, upper moorland area with all these water features in it is definitely going to be a good plan. And you can see that we have um, a path running east-west along the edge of Kinder here. It might be better aiming for that and running along that, even if it's slightly longer, rather than trying to take a, a direct line across the, the middle of Edale Moor. So the closest part of the path is here. So we could pick the path up there and then take it and run all the way along, heading roughly westwards with steep ground dropping away to our left and flatter ground on our right. So even in bad visibility, we wouldn't go uh, wrong necessarily on that. Would be would be be tricky to go wrong. I wouldn't say never go wrong. Um, we could aim down for this point here, pick up the Pennine Way, which is going to lead us very closely in. Notice that the Pennine Way is marked on the map. It doesn't actually go to the trig point itself, but there is a little black dotted line path that does go to the trig point. So one option might be to do something like that. And the distance of that is 4.4, nearly 4.4 kilometers with 150 meters of climb. Now, I might be tempted to, rather than go back on ourselves to this point here, might be tempted to cut the corner and do a little bit across the moor rather than doing a long detour around. So something like that. Yes, we're going across Moorland, but it's certainly going to be um, quite a bit shorter than, than going the long way around. So I can do that all the way along. Once we're in this bit here, it doesn't matter if we don't know exactly where we are, because as long as we're paying attention, we're going to change direction from going due west to going slightly southwest and then more southwest here. But we've also got these features of the streams and we've got this black boundary line. If I just remove that, you can see we've got this boundary line that we pick up here that we handrail along there. So once we hit that point there, we'd know where we were. So that's a good feature. We've also got this great big steep head of the valley here. So we'd know that we were there. And then we've got this rocky ground through here. We might notice these big features here, big boulder there, pim chair, and no stool there. In terms of hitting the Pennine Way, well, we've got these two streams that we cross here that tell us to cut off onto the Pennine Way. So that's one way of doing it. Another way or another way that we could shorten it is rather than heading all the way down, what if we cut across there from No Stool and headed more directly for the destination? So something like that, we could do that. It save us quite a bit of distance. We'd know that we crossed these two streams, that would tell us where we were, and then we'd be looking to pick up the path 
or the Penang Way that was leading into the trig point. Now notice I've not aimed directly at the, um, the destination so that by doing that we know that it's to the north of us. If we aimed straight for it and we missed it in foggy conditions we wouldn't necessarily know whether we've missed it by going too far north of it or too far south of it. So if we went due west when we hit this path we'd know that our destination was due north of us. If we overshot then we'd start heading downhill. So that's one way of doing it. Another way would be if I mean that would be okay if conditions were dry but it might be quicker to continue running on this edge path for longer and then head in. So what if we headed to this stream here? We could then follow that stream all the way up. So just remove these again. So what if we hit this stream here and then followed it in and notice it leads very very close to our destination. So if we got on the left hand side of it and went up with the stream on our right until it petered out we might even be able to see that trigger point from there. If we couldn't then once we hit the high ground here and the ground flattened off then we'd know to stop and to look over to our left or to the southwest. So follow the stream and then if we notice this bit here just where it finishes then our destination is just 100 meters away. So I might be looking at something like yellow route. Doesn't really matter, you might have um, you know, your preferred option. What we don't want to do is look at this map and think, oh, I know what we'll do. We'll head across here and pick up this black dotted line thinking that this is a path and it's going to lead us all the way in. And that is because it's not a path, it's a boundary, so it's a political designation, it's a parish boundary or metropolitan borough boundary rather than a path, so don't fall into that trap. So comparison of the two routes, well the second route I've shown is 3.13 kilometres and 110 metres of climb, and the second route is 4.4 kilometers 150 meters of climb so certainly this, the yellow route was the shorter um, not necessarily better it depends what the conditions like underfoot anyway those are some options you might have had a, a different choice but I hope you learned something from it and gained uh, maybe a little bit of knowledge thanks for watching and look out for more of these navigation challenges bye for now